On Wednesday, the Washington football team will reveal its new name, forging a fresh identity for an NFL franchise known for 83 years as the Redskins. The announcement will end 18 months of market research for the team, which ditched its previous name under growing pressure in July 2020 because of its racist connotations. In selecting the name, team officials have held focus groups and received more than 40 OOO submissions from fans. They've also endured jokey suggested names about political dysfunction. Let's hear it for the Washington gridlockers. Dot on an ESPN podcast last September. Team CEO Tanya Snyder confirmed the names of eight unofficial finalists, Armada, Brigade, Commanders, Defenders, Presidents, Red Hawks, Red Wolves and, yes, Washington football team, but Team President Jason Wright has suggested that additional names may still be in play. He also said last month that Red Wolves is no longer in the running because of trademark issues. Here's a closer look at what appear to be the top contenders, complete with my highly unscientific odds about each name's chances. Pros The team is clearly tempted to go with a military theme. Four of the seven unofficial finalists are related to the military. Five, if you consider the president as the commander-in-chief. Armada, derived from a Spanish term for a naval fleet rolls smoothly off the tongue and sounds intimidating. Cons, while Washington is not far from Annapolis, Maryland, home to the U.S. Naval Academy, it's roughly 100 miles from the open ocean and is not known as a port city. Pros, another name that radiates military might, a brigade is a large body of troops, as many as several thousand soldiers. It also suggests people working together to battle a common enemy, as in a bucket brigade trying to put out a fire. Cons, brigade is sort of an old-timey term for a franchise that seems to want to move in a bold new direction. No current NFL team name ends in a letter other than S. And what would you call a Washington brigade player, a brigader? A brigadier? Um, no. Pros. The name fits with DC's status as home to the Pentagon and the nation's top brass. It sounds, well, commanding. Some sharp-eyed observers believe it will be the new name, based on a glimpse of a commander's logo in a team-produced video and the NFL's usage of the domain name. And former NFL quarterback Joe Theismann, who won a Super Bowl with the Washington franchise in 1983, said Monday on a radio show, I think the Commanders is a name that is going to be hopefully one that people talk about going forward, 